All right, so this is going to be a Costco sale item review of these beef loin, top sirloin steak boneless cap off. All right, so price was basically whatever price with an $8 discount. So I looked for the smallest uh, package um, to get the best price. This one was $37.41. So um, basically a little under 30 bucks for uh, 3.12 pounds. So about $10 a pound with that. All right. Um, and anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. So I'm going to be seasoning these with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and I'm going to sous vide cook them. If you haven't seen my steak cooking videos before, um, you can watch one of those. I'm probably not going to make this one as detailed. Um, but yeah, all right, let's get the steaks out of here. I probably should get a fork because I'm going to use the salt like and pepper grinders. So <laughs> it's going to be kind of, eh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to need a fork. Give me a second. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. So let's go ahead and just kind of spread these out on this tray so that I can evenly season them. Hopefully they all fit to where I can season them evenly. Looks like it'll fit pretty well. Okay. All right. I should actually rotate that guy around there. There we go. Okay, so we can fit them all in this tray. I'm going to now season them with salt, pepper, and garlic powder or granulated garlic. Okay, we have these salt and pepper grinder shaker thingies that we got from Costco before. And let's go ahead and just grind some salt and pepper on them. Okay. And the one thing with steaks and beef, you can actually put quite a bit of salt on them and they'll be good. So it might look like a lot, but I'm probably going to eat it and then be like, it's not enough salt. <laughs> All right. So let's salt that up. Okay, good. We're going to have to flip them over after, but let's go ahead and get some pepper on them as well. Okay. Get a nice amount of pepper. The little pepper thingies get stuck in this and don't always grind well, but there we go. Okay. Got them all salt and peppered up. We're going to now get the granulated garlic. And we're going to pour that on. All right. To me, this is the best combination for steaks. You don't need to put anything else. So I'm going to pat it a little bit. All right. The vacuum packing part I'm going to do off camera just because it's kind of a hassle to kind of set up a camera and view that. So, yeah, if you want, I have some videos where I did this with their New York strip steaks. So you can watch that if you really wanted to. OK, so we flipped them over. Let's go ahead and salt, pepper and garlic powder them again. Again, it might look like a lot of salt, but every time I do this, it's like not too bad. It's not like too much. So, especially since this thing grinds it so fine, it looks like a lot more than it actually is. Okay. All right, so we should be good. Watch me say it's not salty enough when I actually <laughs> go to eat it all right the sous vide process takes a few hours so we'll see how this goes get some pepper on there come on pepper i might be putting too much pepper actually all right, so there we go. And then more granulated garlic. Okay. 
All right, here we go. Got a good amount. Now I'm gonna get the sous vide bags. Um, I'll put them in and then you'll see them in the bag and then I'll show you them vacuum bagged. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, here's the sous vide bag. Let's go ahead and get the steaks in there. Okay. Grab it, drop it in there. I made the bag much bigger than it needed to be. Sorry, I'm going out of view. Okay, it smells good. It smells so good. All right, get that guy in there. Gotta be careful not to drop it on the carpet. <laughs> Let's rotate that that way. And the last piece here. And I'll probably dump in the extra um, garlic powder and stuff here if I can. Okay, there's all this garlic powder and stuff. Because as it sous vide cooks, um, the liquid, the moisture will come out and will allow it to kind of dissolve and mix all together. So I'm going to pour this stuff in there. There we go. All right, I'm going to vacuum bag it up and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so here it is, all vacuum bagged up. I'm going to put it in the sous vide machine at 125 degrees Fahrenheit for about two hours, and then we're going to um, cook it on the hot grill. All right, see you guys. All right, so it's not quite 125 yet, but that's okay. I'm just going to put it in there, and we'll let it sit again for at least two hours. So we'll probably actually cook it for two and a half hours or so. It shouldn't really be that important. Two to three hours should be perfect. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. For you, it's gonna be an instant. For me, it's gonna be like three hours. All right, bye for now. All right, so we're gonna start up this charcoal chimney and then we are going to just grill them on here. I need more charcoal, but for now, I'm just gonna start it. All right, see you guys when we got it all going. All right, so it's probably been in there two and a half to three hours now. So let's go ahead and turn this off, take them out, and let's get them going, see how they cook. All right, so we got this. I'm not sure how tender the meat is here. I've never bought this cut of steak from Costco. So I'm gonna take out the pieces of meat, pat them dry with some paper towels, and I'll be back. All right, so I'm probably only gonna cook these two for now. I can already tell from poking it with the fork, it's gonna be very tough, but let's see. All right, so we got this blazing hot. Here's the meat, let's go ahead and throw them on. It's gonna cook super fast. Probably like 30 seconds on uh, each side, flip and rotate. So we'll do 30 seconds, let's see. Maybe might have to do it longer, we'll see. I'll give it 30 seconds and then we're, I'm gonna flip it over. Okay, let's grab this guy, let's grab this guy, flip it. The bars are super hot because it's been sitting there. Okay, there we go, look at that, looks good. All right, so we're gonna let this go another 30 seconds. It took me a few seconds to flip it, so yeah. So maybe a minute, 15 seconds, we'll flip it and rotate. this rotate it this way uh oh this is going to be tough all right and then we're going to grab that and rotate that this way yeah this i guess i need to do it longer than 30 seconds on each side all right let's do it another let's do 40 seconds this time so we'll do at the 2 minute 10 second i know it's not quite exactly 30 seconds but yeah close look all right let's flip it again
this guy again. Alright, it's looking good. So we'll let that go about 30 more seconds. We'll let it go until the 3 minute. Uh, sorry, you can't see my timer, but I have a timer going. And I'm going to give it, yeah, another 20 seconds. And then we'll go inside, cut them up, and see how they look and taste. Right? Again, I feel it's going to be tough, so I'm going to cut these really thin. Probably need to get a tripod so I can show. Maybe I'll just cut it sitting on the floor. Alright, and there we go. Let's go ahead and take a look. You can see this side looks better. And then let's grab this big fat guy. Actually, this one probably needs more. I'm going to put it more in the center. And we'll let it go about... 10 seconds, 5 more seconds. Okay, that's good enough. I think that's good enough. Alright, so let's bring these in and cut them up and see what they look like inside. Alright, so here we have them plated up. The lighting's not too great, I'm sorry. But anyways, let's go ahead and cut a piece. There's a lot of fat on this one. But, uh, okay, this is going to be overcooked because that's a very thin part. Hmm. Nice and charred flavor. Mm -hmm. mm. Look at that. Nice and chewy. Mm. I know. You guys are probably like, you're supposed to let it rest. Let the sauce like soak in. You're losing all the juices. <laughs> I don't care. I'd rather have warm steak. This part will have time to rest while I'm eating the rest. Okay. <laughs> All right. Look at that. Nice and medium rare. I like it more on the rare side. Hmm. Mm hmm. Very tasty. Mm -hmm. Look at that. All right, let's cut open the thick one here. I'm gonna just cut it in half so you can see in the center. Look at that. Let me actually move the camera closer so you get better lighting. But yeah, it turned out delicious. So, mm -hmm. definitely really enjoy this. If you want like super soft, tender meat, this is a little bit on the tougher side. But as long as you cut it against a grain, so if you see how this is going, like you want it to kind of make smaller shredded pieces, then you should be okay. Let's try and cut up this big piece and shoot up. You can see how when you cut it, it's like this very like shredded. You don't want to cut it like along those shredded parts because then you'll get long strings that you got to chew on. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm. Let me call my brothers over to give some, give it a taste. All right, give me a second. All right, my brother's here. Let me cut him a piece and see what he thinks. No. Okay. What do you think? Pretty chewy. It's a lot tougher than most people probably like, but I like my meat with um, I like my meat with bite to it, so this is pretty good. Mm -hmm. And it's yep. a nice like big chunk too. <laughs> mm. 
Want more? Did you season it with anything but just salt and pepper? Um, what is it? That garlic, granulated garlic? Mm-hmm. Want more? Mm-hmm. And he usually doesn't like rare steaks, so this is pretty rare. <laughs> Yeah, I prefer my steak um, generally um, medium well or medium. Let's go see if my other brother wants to try it. Okay, my other brother's here. So let me cut him a piece and see what he thinks. Oops, think? cut that bad. That's not cut very well. Oh, nice and bloody. Okay. Here you go. Try it. It's getting dripped, so be careful. You don't have your spices? What spices? Not for this, it already has salt, pepper, and stuff. Too, too, too tough, though, that too one. Too tough? You think it's too tough? There any I different? like the chewiness. No, they're the same. So, no piece you gave so it's too tough really for you? Tough. Okay, finish that one and then try this one. I cut it thinner. Yeah, this meat is pretty tough, so if you like your beef more on the tough side, then this is for you. But if you like it super tender and stuff you might want to look for their new york strip steaks or their ribeyes want that piece all right but i like it i don't know I, i'm fine with the chewy texture it's not like where you can't chew it you can actually chew it and swallow it it doesn't turn to like a ball of like tough like chew that you can't swallow this thing you can actually chew it up and swallow it so it's good um i like it give it a try um, I mean, it's cheaper, a lot cheaper than the New York strips and the um, ribeyes. Um, personally, for grilling, I prefer the New York strip the most for the way I cook it. Ribeye has too much fat, so when I cook it that way, it tends to drip too much and burn the fat, and it makes the outside bitter. So, yeah, I prefer New York strips for this, and the New York strips are a nice tenderness. So, but yeah, this isn't that bad, especially for the price. Really good right now. Uh, I mean, it's still kind of expensive, $10 a pound, because you can get, like, on sale at other grocery stores. Every so often, they'll have sales for, like, New York strips and ribeyes for around $5 to $7 a pound. So keep that in mind. Even with this sale, with the best possible price I could find because I bought the smallest pack, it was still close to around $10 a pound. But it is good meat. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.